Y'all remember that 90s jam, TikTok you don't stop, to the TikTok you don't stop? Maybe it's just me. Either way, today we are going to be deep diving into TikTok desktop so you know like how to use it, what to do on it, where all the things are, how to find the stuff, and have some fun along the way. By the way, my name is Desiree and I am here to help you on your social media journey. Now, TikTok is all about creating lots of good stuff, okay? So before we dive over to the computer, go grab my freebie I have for you. It's 50 videos every business owner needs to make so that you can like have a good starting point for what you should be doing on this TikTok thing. All right, let's head to the computer. Okay, so when we are coming in to TikTok for the first time or without being logged in, this is what you're going to see. We have our For You page that's here and this is like the default. Now our goal as a creator is to show up on people's For You page based on our information, what we're putting on, what our algorithms are, what our searches, what our sounds are, all of that good stuff. And we'll go over some tips in a separate video of like how you can have find success on TikTok with all the little nuances of what goes into posting effectively. But for right now, this is what you see and what you're finding on here is gonna be stuff that's really popular and trendy right now. We also then have following. This is gonna show us like people that we could follow. These are usually really popular TikTok creators as well as celebrities. And then we have live. Now what live shows us is who is live. Now in order to access live, we need to log in. Now you can sign up from your phone, with your Google, with your Facebook, all that kind of stuff, or you can just log in. Now I'm going to use the QR code to log in because it's just the easiest way to do it. You do it from your phone where you log into your account and then you're able to just scan and it'll log you in. And I'm gonna confirm on my phone that I'm allowing this to happen. And then as you can see, okay. it allows me to Pretty see. Good. So when we're in here, we want to mute because I don't want to bother you guys while we're doing this, but this is where we're live. So we can see all these different people who are live. Oh my goodness, it's puppies. See, that's how they get you. They get you with this. So you can just scroll normally and see the different people that are live. Again, this is tailor made a bit for me, but it's also not. So let's go, let's keep going down our far left hand side. We have comedy. We can see popular topics and people that are comedians. We can have gaming if like that's our jam. We have food. So it allows us to kind of see what is trending. What are things I'm going to like based on that? Oh my gosh, as you can see, we have a massive use of everything here, like the recipe and the messaging, we have all of this. So we are able to kind of see based on topics and trends what we have going on here. It has suggested accounts for me to follow. Again, these are popular creators. It's not even tailored to me. This is just, these are people that are popular and big right now. You should consider following. And then it's showing me, these are people that you currently follow if you want to go check out their content. So let's see um, if I wanna go see what Justice Buys is doing. Right, so I can see his product reviews and I can see what is it that he's been posting and, and how his account looks. So let's take a moment to look at an account while we are in here. As you can see, we have a lot of different things. So first we have his profile name. So this is how I would find him or tag him on TikTok. Then underneath it, I have his name. Now, what you can do in this situation is you can use this for SEO advantages. Like if you are a local plumber or a chiropractor or a doctor or a service provider, usually your at handle, your, your name, your profile name is going to be different than this part. So what you could do is make this searchable. So it could say like, plumber name of the city that you service, or you could do the zip code or something. So you can use a little bit of SEO tactic in here to change this out. Then we can see how many people we're following. We can see how many followers they have. We can see how many people have liked his content and we can kind of get this idea of his average engagement rate. This is a really cool thing that I have because I use a tool called vidIQ, which allows me to get extra analytics that you can do. It's a free plugin that you can get for Chrome. Then as we scroll down, we have our bio. So we have a couple lines, certain number of characters that we can use to create our bio. And the objective is to tell people about you and what you do. So this is like where your tag, your mission statement is, the area that you service, that would all go here, maybe your address as well. And then if you have the thousand followers that you need to do it, you can then have a link. You cannot get a link unless you have a thousand followers at the time of this recording. As we continue to scroll down, we can see the videos that they've created. Now, as you can tell, when you come to a page, one will always be playing by default, okay? So in the case of this one, it's going to be usually this one, but as I hover over different ones, it changes and it will continue to kind of play a small loop of uh, the video and what it's happening. You can't hear it, you don't know what's going on, but you can kind of preview it a little bit. And as you can see, when you set up these videos on 
when you post them through the mobile app, you have the option for the cover, which is like what this thing here is. And this is our cover image. We selected the clip that we would want to have previewing. And then we can add like a cover of like what people can expect from it. We can then see the little brief descriptions here in that first line and you can scroll through. Now, like, now this is often a thing that people do not have public. So it's the like, the things that they have liked in their private channel. Sometimes they're public, so then you can like see other things and other content, but I rarely find people that have this up as well. I also have up here, if we scroll back up, we have this little arrow where we can share things, the link, the social, all that stuff. We also have this if we need to report it because it's inappropriate or the creator has done something against terms of service, like pornography, bullying, that sort of thing. We can report it or we can block that account if for some reason we don't want this content to show up or we don't want this creator to be able to see what we are doing. All right, so now let's go back to the home page, the for you page of TikTok. Okay. As you can see, I have my new content that's up here. And as you can see, something is interesting happened. There's the telling me, Hey, Desiree, you like something that has to do with stuff. I went to Rome. I love history and stuff. So a lot of the content I will watch is here. It's saying, Hey, you would like this video. You should probably also follow this creator as an additional option. I can see that here too, with this read between the lines of the line. So that's what your for you pages is tailored content for you based on your interests and things that you have interacted with or engaged with. It is not always going to be content you follow. If I want to go see my followers content, things I do follow, I can go right here to following and I can kind of see what is it that's going on about this. And we can see like, what is it that is happening? All that kind of stuff. These are the creators that I'm following and I want to know what it is that's going on with them. Now, one of the things I want to point out down here in the bottom left hand corner, as we scroll, we have this discover. So discover is going to be kind of like trending songs and hashtags that are kind of popular right now. But I will say pets of TikTok, it's like always on this list. <laughs> so I don't know how current they keep these or what is trending. You can go in here and you can search specific things that you might be looking for, which is why search engine optimization is important for your posts. But it just really helps you with like knowing like what you can do. So this gives you a good place to start. What is being created with this sound? What's being created with this sound? What's being created with this sound? And this is like what is popular over all of TikTok, not just stuff that is specific to what you might be interested in. I can also hit see more to see more creators I might like or more things that I'd like to discover. So let's say I'm using the desktop app to find different ideas and things that I might want to create around or for or get ideas for. I can search for things I'm looking for. So let's say that I am a pediatrician in Michigan. So I'm gonna do pediatrician and I can add a comma and I can say Michigan or I can not have the comma. So what it's going to show me is the top videos that are going to show up based on this search. Now, unlike the mobile app where I can minimize down to like, I only want to see content posted in the last month or quarter or week. This is showing me the most popular content based on what I'm searching for. So let's click in here and I can see, we can maybe do a little search as to why. So I'm truly thankful for blueberry pediatrics, which, uh, virtual pediatric services. I love what they've been able to do. And I can see Michigan mom, Michigan check. So this is how it's associated with what it has. As you can tell, pediatrician and Michigan were my search terms, but I can see like that's how it is associating it. So I can go check out what is Blueberry Pediatrics doing? And I can see the kind of content that they're creating, what information. So if I'm a pediatrician, I'm trying to get some ideas of what content to make. I can go look and see on these top two rows, because these are the most current content pieces, what well, has been the most watched? So I can see this. I found out he had an ear infection. Thanks to Blueberry Pediatrics. Okay, we also have this one, which is ever notice how kids always get sick after 5 p.m. And so it's explaining something to you. So, you know, we also have, let's talk about RSV. So we have these opportunities to learn about different things and we can create content that's similar to it or that we can be inspired by. Okay, so let's go back to our search again and we can see what is it that people are doing. So let's look at this person. It's becoming Brianna. Love when my patients have no meds or IVs. This three or three was rough. Okay, so I can kind of go in and see what these different hashtags are. Now let's say I want 
to pick a hashtag to like look at what it is that people are doing. So let's go just go with our RSV sort of thing. I can see what are the top performing content pieces about RSV that maybe I could create content similar to, or I could shine light onto, I could react to, I could duet, I could stitch, and I can, you know, really dig into like what these things are. So this is a great way to research the different kinds of content you might want to make or what is performing well or not performing well for you based on where you are for search. Now, if I want to go into accounts, I can see who are the top creators around my search here. I can get a little bit more generic by removing the specifications. Like pediatrician is pretty broad. And then I also have more videos again. So these are the top performing videos. These are just videos that are performing well based on my search of what I'm doing. So I know what's going on there. Okay. So that's how we can use TikTok to search for content and get inspiration for what we're trying to do. Another way to search something is, is through the song, through the sound clip. Now this song that's going on here by Big King Kong and Barbecue Show. Okay. This is a pretty popular song. Okay. So we can see what are all the videos that are being made about with this sound bite right now. So I can kind of see like what's trending or popular. Okay. So this was a SNL skit that had come out and it's taken kind of viral and people are shining light on different things for different relationship situations. So what is a way that you could use a trending audio and relate it back to your business? Well, you can just kind of watch and see what other people are doing or see how you could use it in that kind of a way. But as you can see, this is a popular audio file and you kind of don't know unless you spend time on the platform, but that's just kind of how the example can work for you. You can just search parts of songs and then you're able to maybe pull up different accounts and see like, what is the sound bite for it? Okay. Right. So we just got to spend some time finding the sound bite that we would want. And that's how I find things that I might like, or if there's a song I want to create around as well. So real quick too, I think our last thing is if we want to interact and engage on what's happening here on the platform, I want to show you some different pieces of what makes up posts on TikTok. So as you can see, we're gonna, this is the perfect one for us to do. So we have the side by side. So this is called a duet. So whenever you see someone side by side, it's a duet. They're either reacting to it, commenting, watching, and then like you'll type things in for how they're going to react. We also then have a stitch. So a stitch is where you've taken someone's video and maybe there's like a part or a clip of it. And then you're going to say something after it or over it, that sort of a thing. And usually you'll see this hashtag in the beginning, or they'll put on the front in text stitch coming so that people kind of know. Okay. Then the other parts that we have here is we have our message, we have our hashtags, and then we also have our sound. All right, so these are all the different parts that go into a post. We also can see that this account is tagged as well. And it's a duet with this one. The reason duets do really well is because it's tapping this person's audience. And then you can say or react to something that they are saying. Now let's talk about engagement on posts. So let's say you're on here and you're like, Ooh, I like this library room video. I could go here and I could hit heart to like it. And then I can also comment on it in here. I was based on something that I'd want to say like, this looks great. Okay. And then we can hit post and it goes up. Okay. So we can go back to here. We also can then share it if we want to whatever we're doing, we can share it to any of these platforms, embed it into a blog post or a video or something like that. When we're in here commenting, we have all of the same things too. We have these different things. Again, this is something that is not usually there. This is something that I have again with vidIQ, which I'll have a link for down in the description, which is super helpful. I can also copy the link to where this content is so I can share it or send it to somebody directly. I can click this and I can, I also like the idea of sending things to friends. So when we're sending to friends, these are people that we're following inside of TikTok that they might like. So what I'll do often is send videos to clients or friends like, Hey, this would be something really great for you to do it or react to or find inspiration from so that they can and do it too. Now that we've talked about the interface and we've talked about all that stuff, now I'd like to talk about ourselves and uploading content, what that looks like. So we can view our profile here. We can get coins, which is like a TikTok currency. You don't have to worry too much about the live studio. If I want to go live, like, what does that look like? How do I create in it? All that kind of stuff, which we're not going to go over today. We have business suite. This only is something that you have access to if you are using your Instagram and as a business and you've set it up that way. So you can kind of see your analytics, all of these different things. I will do a separate tutorial video that talks about TikTok business analytics. So you can kind of look at it. 
We have our settings, which allows for us to go in, change out any privacy things or notifications that we do or don't want. We also have our language that we've established. We can do feedback and help keyboard shortcuts. So this allows for me to set up and like, look, this is how I'd want to do things. I can like a video by hitting the L button. I can mute something with the M. I can hit the up and down to watch previous or next video. And then I can just kind of do things from here and I can say like an, like an L, right? I'm just doing that with my keyboard. So I can do that. I have dark mode if I wanna make it dark. So it's better for my eyes, which I will keep on. And then I can also log out. Now I can go to view profile. I can see what I have going on here. I have my pieces and my content that I've posted. I have liked content. I have my followers, my following, the number of things I have liked as well. Now, one of the things that you do not see here are my saved, my playlist ones. Those do not show up at the time of this recording on the desktop version. So you do have that. We also can go here to messages and I can see the people I, again, I've sent people things to talk about things, ask them questions all that jazz, like this is one of my clients, I've sent her some stuff as ideas and she has done too, same with this one, like this is a fun one you could do wet or do something with and they can engage with it that way. Now, how do I upload my content to TikTok? I'm so glad that you asked. So first let's hit upload. Now I want to preface this by saying, you cannot create TikTok videos from the desktop app. You have to have already created it somewhere else and then you upload it. The advantages of being able to do this is you can schedule your content from TikTok desktop app. You cannot do that from the mobile app. The disadvantages are is you can't tap in to features like being able, like you can select your cover, you can't make a cover, and you also cannot like sync up to a sound. Everything would be an original audio, but everything else you can do. So. You can't create, you can't use the custom covers and you can't use audio in TikTok. So if you're trying to really make sure you're strategically doing things on TikTok in that way, do it from the mobile app. But if you are planning and trying to get ahead on your content and you're wanting to show up and be present, you're gonna do this from here. We have our captions here and then I can just do all that. And then I can even, when they pop up, I can hit enter to do it. I also can, how to use TikTok desk. Top, right? So these are some of those little things that you can do to improve the quality of what you have going on. Now you do need to upload a vertical video, otherwise it will not work as well. And it's going to upload it for you because it has to do this extra stuff. So I've already created this. I think it's great for repurposing. Now I can select a frame I might want to use for my video to be my first cover, but I can't use the tools that you have on it. I can go here, make it public, friends, private, anything like that. I can allow comments. I can allow people to do it and I can allow people to stitch it and I can schedule my video here if I like as well. I can run a copyright check if I need to do that as well. Okay, let's just schedule it for another time at a future date. Let's just say like three o'clock. All right, and then I can just hit schedule and it's gonna go up here. All right, and I can view my profile to go see it. And as you can see here, I have the scheduled one for it. So I know when it's going to go up. And then if I don't like it, I can go here and I can hit delete. So let's look at what our content looks like in here so we can kind of do things. Okay, let's look at our content here so we can see how the different things work. Again, how people have liked my post, I have no comments. I can go here to privacy settings and I also can delete it. You can also add comments, like if I wanna put a link or something in here. I also can see how many views a piece of content has here in the bottom left-hand corner of all of the content. Now you do have the option to get an app for your desktop as well. And it works almost exactly the same as this if you don't wanna run it through a profile. We have edit our profile here, where we can go in here, change our username, our name, our bio. If you change your username, I think there's a 30 day limit of when you can change anything again, if you wanna do that. You can go in here and update your picture if you want to as well. Now that's TikTok on desktop, but now we need to talk about TikTok on mobile, which is a different interface with different kind of things and stuff like that. So go watch this video that I have right here where I'm gonna walk you through how to use it on the phone.